The Center for Education and Work engaged with over 30 companies recognized for achievements in learning across five provinces. We selected two to focus on. Our goal was to understand the inner workings of a learning organization. Well, we've always been, a, we thought, a training or learning organization. But uh, what we weren't doing, we weren't uh, practicing uh, training in a sustainable manner. The basic of learning organization is to recognize skill sets of the employees that you have. What you have in front of you is uh, stir sticks and tape. You have five minutes to build the tallest free standing structure. Good to go? Go. So you can then build a very strong, powerful organization. We now have a sustainable learning program that links to the business plan. Our purpose of this presentation course is to get everyone more familiar with how to actually make a presentation. Duha Color Group manufactures paint chips using color matching technology and paint-based printing processes, while Carte International manufactures transformers for electrical utilities, distributors, and large industrial clients. These companies don't share the same markets and have pooled their talents to share learning across sectors. 30 seconds to go. This freestanding structure has to stay free without falling for at least one minute. Okay? As we observed learning organizations, the benefits became very apparent. Workers emerged as leaders. The program of learning and teaching people and getting everybody involved is, to, at least in our opinion, it, it's building leaders all over the place. What did you say, two and a half? Two and a half, yeah. So that, uh, this was about 20 seconds. It really opened up the doors for me in this place and uh, it really opened my eyes to, uh, uh, to go to, to different areas of the company that maybe five years ago I wasn't, wasn't really looking at. What are my hobbies? Uh, other than playing the uh, PS3, uh, I'm a big sports fanatic. Who is going to be the first person to come up? All right, Manny. All right, uh, I picked football. Uh, and also the employees I, are, are observing themselves uh, that they are becoming a uh, group leader. They're uh, becoming more outspoken. What motivates me in a way that the manager is not telling us all the time. If you get somebody always telling you what to do, your mind gets lazy. And that's what we do, like we'll get together and two, three of us and say, what do you guys think of this? Or because somebody says one thing, it might trigger a different way of thinking for somebody else. He did, we asked him and he said, it's okay. Yeah, he said it's good. He just, he, the, the bottom line is he didn't follow instructions. Yeah. As a pain customer, I want him to follow instructions, right? Employees are improving the process. Tangible ideas start from the shop floor, creating sustainable change, which improves the bottom line. I know that we are putting through more product with the same amount of people. In the process itself, the employees are doing the work. It's not coming from management. Managements are not the ones working on the shop floor. We can take on bigger challenges. I, if it's a, a strange unit that we haven't built before, well, let's try it. It's, uh, especially coming from uh, the huddle boards themselves, where you can actually see visually uh, every day at what's going on and the ideas that are being generated every single day. Anything else? I made new sheets for October for the cleaning station okay. and I've revised the ownership okay. because it was quite outdated. So the two That was actually on here. So you guys have been pulling some stuff forward. Good job. Our intention at Duha is to give ownership to the entire floor. To date we've uh, initiated some 10,000 ideas and of those 10,000 we've completed over 6,500 since we started the huddle process. Labor shortages are a challenge. Learning organizations have higher retention and are better at recruitment. We're looking for new managers, we're looking for new leaders and, uh, and this is allowing us to actually through our internal process to uh, bring up those employees to that, that level that there could be our future management. The learning that we're doing and the involvement we're doing is a direct uh, reason that our retention is the best it's ever been in the company's history. Here's your trigger point. As soon as the pellets hit that mark that, that's on the floor. Learning organizations have clear communication and developed strong teamwork. The staff are now 
uh, feel comfortable, they're more aligned with each other. And, and with that, we've, uh, you know, we've just got a snowball effect. It really has to be with the employees on board with management and the owner. You're more likely to take charge and you're more likely to take on more and to grow as an organization from employees all the way up to management. You know, if I have trouble, then I'll ask my coworkers, I said, what do you guys think of this? Or what do you guys think of that? But it's not just one person. It's, it's, a, it's a team. Being a team and working together, it's the only way it works.